Contend, O Lord, with my contenders. Find those who find me. Take up the buckler and shield. Arise in my defense, Lord, my mighty help. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Sisters and brothers, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves for the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you came so that we might have life and have it more abundantly. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the way, the truth, and the life. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the good shepherd, leading us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that though in our weakness we fail, we may be revived to the passion of your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Here is my servant, whom I uphold, my chosen one, with whom I am pleased, upon whom I have put my spirit. He shall bring forth justice to the nations, not crying out, not shouting, not making his voice heard in the street. A bruised reed he shall not break, and a smoldering wick he shall not quench, until he establishes justice on the earth. The coastlands will wait for his teaching. Thus says God, the Lord, who created the heavens and stretched them out, who spreads out the earth with its crops, who gives breath to its people, and spirit to those who walk on it. I, the Lord, have called you for the victory of justice. I have grasped you by the hand. I have formed you and set you as a covenant of the people, a light for the nations, to open the eyes of the blind, to bring out prisoners from confinement and from the dungeon those who live in darkness. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom should I fear? The Lord is my life's refuge. Of whom should I be afraid? The Lord is my light and my salvation. When evildoers come at me to devour my flesh, my foes and my enemies themselves stumble and fall. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Though an army encamp against me, my heart will not fear. Though war be waged upon me, even then will I trust. The Lord is my light and my salvation. I believe that I shall see the bounty of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord with courage. Be stout-hearted and wait for the Lord. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Praise you, O Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise you, O Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory, hail to you, our King. You alone are compassionate with our faults. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Six days before the Passover, Jesus came to Bethany, where Lazarus was, whom Jesus had raised from the dead. They gave a dinner for him there, and Martha served, while Lazarus was one of those reclining at table with him. Mary took a little of costly perfume oil, made from genuine aromatic nard, and anointed the feet of Jesus, and dried them with her hair. The house was filled with the fragrance of the oil. Then Judas the Iscariot, one of his disciples, and the one who would betray him, said, Why was this oil not sold for three hundred days wages and given to the poor? He said this not because he cared for the poor, but because he was a thief and held the money back and used to steal from the contributions. So Jesus said, Leave her alone. Let her keep this for the day of my burial. You always have the poor with you, but you do not always have me. The large crowd of the Jews found out that he was there and came, not only because of him, but also to see Lazarus, whom he had raised from the dead. And the chief priests plotted to kill Lazarus too, because many of the Jews were turning away and believing in Jesus because of him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus was a frequent visitor to Lazarus, Martha, and Mary of Bethany. These three siblings were close friends of the Lord, and He loved them. The Gospel recorded at least three times Jesus visited them. The first time was recorded in the Gospel of Luke when Martha complained to Jesus that her sister Mary did not have her, but sat at the feet of Jesus, listening to him. The second visit was when Jesus raised Lazarus from the dead. And the third visit is recorded in today's Gospel. Whenever Jesus visited them, Mary did the same thing. She always sat at the feet of the Lord. The first visit, Mary did not have Martha cooking and serving, but she sat at the feet of the Lord. The second time, Martha ran to Jesus, but Mary fell at his feet. And the third time, Mary sat at his feet and anointed them with oil. Mary of Bethany taught us to pray by sitting at the feet of the Lord and listening to Him. To pray is not only to ask God for something. Mary prayed not with her lips, but with her heart. Prayer must be from heart to heart. Sometimes when we sit at the feet of the Lord, we don't need to say anything. Just sit at His feet, open your heart, and listen. Let us offer our prayers to the Lord, who journeys with us and knows the needs of our hearts. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, and all clergy, may God give them courage in their vocation and strength in leading our church in prayer 
during, during this holy week, let us pray to our Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For leader of nations, may God give them wisdom in making decisions that reflect the goodness of Christ. Let us pray to our Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who struggle to see goodness or beauty in their lives, may God open their eyes and their hearts to His generous work all around them. Let us pray to our Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are sick physically and spiritually, especially those infected by the virus, and for the doctors, nurses, first responders who are in the front line protecting us from the virus, let us pray to our Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, especially those among our loved ones, may they be anointed by Christ as He welcomes them into His heavenly kingdom. Let us pray to our Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Gracious Father, we ask that you generously respond to these our needs and intentions to Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God, all creation, for to your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness who have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands and praise and glory in His name for our good and for all His holy church. Look graciously, O Lord, upon the sacred mysteries we celebrate here, and may what you have mercifully provided to cancel the judgment we endured. Bear for us fruit in eternal life, to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, to Christ our Lord. For the days of His saving passion and glorious resurrection are approaching, by which the pride of the ancient foe is vanquished, and the mystery of our redemption in Christ is celebrated. To Him the host of angels adores Your Majesty and rejoices in Your presence forever. May our voices we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise, as we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and from the world's beginning, as this lastly at work, so that the human race may become holy, just as you yourself are holy. Look, we pray upon your people's offerings, and pour out on them the power of your Spirit, 
that they may become the body and blood of your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, in whom we too are your sons and daughters. Indeed, though we once were lost and could not approach you, you loved us with the greatest love for your Son, who alone is just, handed himself over to death, and did not this day to be nailed for our sake to the wound of the cross. But before his arms were outstretched between heaven and earth to become the lasting sign of your covenant, he desired to celebrate the Passover with his disciples. As he ate with them, he took bread and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to them, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, knowing that he was about to reconcile all things in himself, through his blood to be shed on the cross, he took the chalice, filled with the fruit of the vine, and once more giving you thanks, handed the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of your Son, Jesus Christ, who is our Passover and our surest peace, we celebrate his death and resurrection from the dead, and looking forward to his blessed coming, we offer you, who are our faithful and merciful God, this sacrificial victim, who reconciles to you the human race. Look kindly, most compassionate Father, on those you unite to yourself by the sacrifice of your Son, and grant that by the power of the Holy Spirit, as they partake this one bread and one chalice, they may be gathered into one body in Christ, who heals every division. Be pleased to keep us always in communion of mind and heart, together with Francis our Pope and Gregory our Bishop. Help us to work together for the coming of your kingdom until the hour when we stand before you, saints among saints, in the halls of heaven, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her Spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints, and with our deceased brothers and sisters, whom we, whom we com commend to your mercy. Then, freed at last from the wound of corruption, and made fully into a new creation, we shall sing to you with gladness the thanksgiving of Christ, who lives for all eternity. To him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us.
reverse our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Are you saying, quit all its Do not hide your face from me in the day of my distress. Turn your ear towards me on the day when I call. Speedily answer me. Please join us in praying the spiritual communion prayer. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Visit your people, O Lord, we pray, and with ever watchful love, look upon the hearts dedicated to you by means of these sacred mysteries, so that under your protection we may keep safe this remedy of eternal salvation, by which your mercy we have received to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your 
Eucharistia. Bow your head for God's blessing. May your protection, O Lord, we pray, defend the humble and keep ever safe those who trust in your mercy, that they may celebrate the Paschal festivities, not only with bodily observance, but above all with purity of mind to Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God and beauty we humbly pray. And be thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen.